Well, all this year, we have been celebrating WTTV's 70th birthday, and this station would not have been here if it hadn't been for a brilliant inventor by the name of Sarkis Tarzian. Tarzian made his mark in broadcasting by inventing tuners for radios and all sorts of broadcasting equipment. He also launched WTTV in November of 1949. Well, I had a chance to talk with the son of Mr. Tarzian about his father's remarkable accomplishments. Sarkis Tarzian was born in 1900 in what is now the country of Turkey. His family immigrated to the United States and settled in Philadelphia. After graduating from the University of Pennsylvania, Tarzian went to work for RCA and moved to Bloomington, Indiana. And that's where his professional life really started. He was the nicest person you ever want to know and one of the smartest people you ever want to know and one of the most creative people that you ever want to know. Tom Tarzian is Sarkis's son, and he now runs the family business. The Tarzian name runs deep in Indiana's broadcast community. In fact, WTTV's VP of Broadcast Technology, What's going on, Tom? Steve Zanellini, popped in to say hi to his old friend. Hey, Steve, how are you? I'm just peachy. In 1946, Tarzian started operating a 200-watt experimental AM station in Bloomington. He made TV tuners, semiconductors, and broadcast equipment. They had built a lot of the broadcast equipment for WTTV. For example, uh, the story I remember hearing is that the first transmitting antenna, which was um, down here in Bloomington on College Avenue, um, just south of the square, was made from residential guttering. Yeah, really? Oh my God. Yeah. WTTV has had several network affiliations over the years, and the station made its mark when it started broadcasting basketball. So one of the things that they did early on was sports, and they, they did Indiana University basketball. WTTV was known for broadcasting high school basketball as well. Oh my goodness. And of course, it featured many well-known personalities like Sammy Terry, Cowboy Bob. Okay, we're going to come out of that a little earlier. The Tarzian family, by the way, is still in the broadcasting business. They own three radio stations and two, v two TV stations, one in Reno and one in Chattanooga, Tennessee. They employ close to 200 people and still work with engineers right here at CBS4.